stuff in there. Up to get some daylight. I'm probably going from the top, but I just wanted to open this up to deal with this belt. I might come out the bottom, but on this one, it got the subframe, so it's probably easy to go and go at the top up there. But Alternator is right behind me. There you go, you see the bottom of it, the center of it. That boy right there. Bottom boat, easy to get it. But alright, step one, take the tire off, take the shield off. We'll go that way and take that belt off. On oh, that one right there. The belt go over that pulley. And then down under this one. I know what this is. Water pump back here. Gotta be. It goes over that pulley. Down. But it's coming off the crankshaft. So off the crankshaft, over the tensioner pulley, and down under the water pump. Leave the rest of it the same. I mean, you're going to have to take it off the alternator. So that's the compressor. It's just a I look pulley, and then you got the ultimate, which is that one right there. So it's going under that, over the alternator, under the AC compressor, around the crankshaft, over that idler pulley, down up under the water pump, and then the water pump. It's another one up top. Then over that water pump it go under this other pulley. You see that pulley right there. And then on top of the power steering pump. Alright, there you go. All right, now that we got the belt out of there, first thing we're gonna take off this power steering pump is three bolts on the inside of that pulley. You see one of them right there. And we're gonna leave the main high pressure hose attached and just sit the whole pump back that way. We can take these off. I actually only got to take the one off right there um, and set this reservoir to the side. I'm going to get something to catch the fluid. This is what you want for hose clamps, which I'm going to put right on that. See, it's dripping now. I took it off of there. I'm gonna remove those two so this water power steering reservoir can move out the way. If you go back around two thousand not saying it's gonna happen, just be prepared that it could. Now when it comes on to builders, a recent article from Bloomberg's inventory to buy house and I'm saying I want to buy a house that's close to the uh, school and because I want to send my kids to this private school. 12 millimeters.
this side boat. Then we got the top one and the bottom. That's the bottom. It's pretty long, so you know that's the bottom. Disconnect the connector to You gotta wiggle it up and down to get it out of here. It'll just be stuck in the spot once the boat's up. So, you just gotta wiggle it like that. Just sit it back out the way. Top boat. We already seen the bottom boat down there. You gotta pull that clip, plastic clip that's holding the wire harness and that notch on the alternate out. I use some pliers to just push it down. Now I'm gonna try to go and take this out and tilt it up and then take off the power to the battery and the electrical connection. So we're gonna see. Yeah, wasting time trying to show y'all. But anyway, break that thing loose and then get it going. Now we ain't gonna go back too far so we can take this tool off. Yeah, you do got to raise the engine. So loosen the motor mount bolt at the top to the left and crank the engine up under the transmission a little bit and then you can get that top alternator bolt out. Let me check my room. Bottom boat, top one out. Now it's time to wiggle it off. The I'm going to take this pulley off to get more room to wedge this alternate out of there. Now I can try to get it. Now it's open right there. Sit the alternator on the side like this and pull it out to the left where the power steering reservoir was. I disconnected it with it just like this. I'm going to connect it back like that. You do got to raise that engine. Just undo that a little bit and raise this from the transmission. Because as you can see, it's just too much to get past there. So I could do it because I got the engine raised. But I'm about to. I thought you could just do it without. Yeah, no, raising it. Hold up. Going back in. I got the top boat in there already started, so. Oh, that's too big. Need a 14.
I let the engine back down. Put this pulley back on. 17. Get that back in. I lost the boat. Had to swap one out. Now we're going to put this power stem pump back. The reservoir. And the belt. The shield. And we done. Alright. Pump finally back on. That broke, so I'm going to have to fix that. Put this belt back on, and we out of here.